Hi. Can you say hi? I got a, I got a face. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. That shouldn't be the thumbnail, though. That's weird. This way. Yep. If we're live now, we're live now. But that shouldn't be the thumbnail. That's not the thumbnail it took. <laughs> Why are you doing that for? Because that was part of the whole... What? Oh, mute it. Mute it. Mute it. I thought I had muted it. Weird. Mute it. Mute it. Mute it. <laughs> Little bit of extra sound there. Delayed sound. Let Chris know we're live. Sorry. Mr. M. Mr. Mod. Mr. M. <laughs> oh, we've got no lights on. Let's shed some light on the subject. Oh, the shadow should go now. G'day, g'day. Well, we're watching. <laughs> oh, wait. No, no, no. Hang on. I need this microphone. I need to do something. How are you today, Mr. Mod? Oh, someone else is watching. And that's not me either. I wonder who's here. And the first one that liked your video. Oh. Don't forget to like the video. <laughs> like and subscribe and hit that bell button down below. <laughs> That's the one. So somebody else is here, but we don't know who. So whoever well, you are, another, hello. Another two. One of them's you. Um, One of them. No, that's all of us. Hmm. Oh, hmm. maybe somebody will come. But I forgot to post yesterday that the live was happening. Anyway, people watch it back, so it's all good. So, I was just showing that these came this month and hopefully next week we'll have another live that will show the new set that's Look. coming hi Sarah there's four so I was just showing that I swatched these last week they actually came this month and I actually have an extra set of these, but they are going to be for my 1,000 sub giveaway because I have some other things for my 500 sub giveaway that's coming up. And then we're going to start with the boring basket. The boring baskets first. Not all boring, but some boring. Our Coles has the big shelf of bargain stuff, so I bought... A bunch of these tubs. They were two dollars for two. I'm not sure if I'm going to need them all. My daughter's Probably. older daughter has bagged one if I don't need them all because I got ten. But two for two dollars that was pretty cheap. So I thought I'd grab them while they're there because they were running off the shelves. Especially this color. It was very popular. The gray, not so much. Now I just got some boring old screen cleaning stuff to clean screens and my camera because all my stuff for doing that is all dried out. And this is all coal stuff or woolies. 
I think I got these pilot pens from Woolies with the erasable. The friction pens. I really like the friction pens. Friction pens. So I just thought I'd get rid of the boring stuff first. I don't think, I think my other ones are different brands, so I don't think they're the same, so we'll see how they write. Well, they write nicely. I like them. I like them for my planner, because if things change, then I can rub it out, and it's still written in pen. I'll keep that out for later. And then I got these napkins because rainbow napkins <laughs> and they're pretty rainbow colours. So, Somebody's like... oh well, people will watch it back later. It's all good. And then I found this for 50 cents at Vinnie's, and I'm not even 100% sure what's in it. So, let's have a look. Hi, Vonica. I hope I'm saying your name all right. Oh, look at that. It's a cute mini little stapler. <coughs> I have a stapler. What's that? Somebody was stapling. Oh, well, aren't they darling? They're little paper clips with stripes. Um, oh, little clips. Some pegs. Some pinkish purplish paper clips. And some push pins but yeah it was only 50 cents at Vinnie's so I thought I'd give it a go I don't know if it stapler still works or not I'll have to have a look can but... I staple something can I see if it works <laughs> you may try <laughs> so that's one tub of boringness done oh. before we get on to the fun stuff now I've been packaging up things to send my winners and I ran out of bags so I had to run to a shop called Jolly Ollie's today and buy more. lots and lots and lots There's of no bags. Spring, that's why. Oh well, we have that's, staplers. That's why it's 50 cents because it's um, yeah. So I got lots and lots of bags to package up things for my winners and for giveaways. I got these magnets because I've ordered some and they haven't come yet and I'm hoping these will be all right for my project that I'm working on for the last week of Amp It Up August. And then I saw these just as I was about to leave the shop and they had to come home with me and I knew my sister, Heavenly Imaginings, would want some of these as well. So we're going to share these gorgeous unicorn napkins and that's another one done do you want to put that one out of the way please next up is the stuff i get got from my mum's this week my mum just handed me a bag that had ribbons in it so there's peach ribbon and green ribbon and blue ribbon, purple ribbon, Christmas ribbon, and just some loose ribbon, and I'm not sure what you call that stuff, but it's more of a cordy type thing. And then there's some bright orange ribbon, some cream ribbon with a nice frilly edge. And a lot of this will be packaged up because I don't need... For example, this one says it was 25 metres and some of it's gone, but I don't need that much of one colour of ribbon. That is a lot of ribbon. So the orange, then there's some cute little red Christmas trees. I like that. My Christmas ribbon isn't as big a stash as I thought it was. So all Christmas ribbons gratefully received. And then there's this big lot of wider cream ribbon, some green ribbon, some more of the silver cord. So I can share some of that because I've got been given quite a lot of that now. Just seeing if there's any more ribbons in the bottom of the bag. 
and there's a few little bits of ribbon and then there's some white with gold trim and then my mum gave me all these inserts for those folders but these are thicker ones so I like these thicker ones to hold stamps or dies or heavy things so that actually comes in handy and then this bag is just a bag of little random things with some of the ribbon sliders my mum embroiders towels and um, tea towels towels hand towels and sometimes they come packaged up with ribbon with these on them and they're the metal ones so they're quite expensive to buy usually so she's been tossing them my way when she gets them because I absolutely love them they're so pretty And then we have this bag of stuff. <laughs> this is a big bag of stuff. So let's pull out. Oh, I best not tip that up. There's lots yeah. of beads. These are green ones. And then there's some glass ones and some metal <coughs> ones and different ones in there. Some little seed beads. And then there's these blue ones. Some of them have come off pieces of jewellery that mum was going to fix and then decided not to. There's some cat's eye orange ones and some big and small cloison, cloison beads. I don't even know how to say that. And then there's some black seed beads. These came off a bracelet and I'll hold them up because they are a bit different but I thought they'd be good little embellishments to glue down to things. Make nice flower centers or different things. And then there's just like random danglies. And then these beads are pretty fun. There's purple and green and yellow ones, purple and blue and green and yellow. And then these big crackle beads. I really like the crackle beads. They look pretty cool. Some silver seed beads. I am not sure which gem this is. These are blue ones, but I know they're a gemstone one, but I'm not sure which gem. But it was on something that broke. The stretchy cord has broken, so mum didn't want to fix it. So I got them. And then there is oh these yellow beads. And then this random selection of beads, blue flower ones, then there's all different shapes of these green ones, and then there's these green barrel ones that are all glass. So I'll get them out of the way. Sorry for the rustling. It's always fun going to mum's house because I never know if I'm going to leave with nothing or leave with lots of something. Okay, this bag is big items. I got some skulls and mum had put some in there and when I said I don't have a lot of Halloween stuff, she pulled out her skulls and gave me a couple more. So I have quite a few skulls now for some Halloween projects. And then these are just little tiny bits of earrings or a necklace or something that broke into little pieces and mum gave them to me there's an old jalopy car type thing and a, a weird santa i'm not sure what he's supposed to be doing with his eyes i think some of the stuff has come off i had to fix him a bit he was a bit broken then there are big pieces like this that are missing gems so mum gave them to me And then there are these big, beautiful things that mum didn't know what to do with. So she gave them to me for my art and craft adventures. It's giant owls. Whoops, I just threw a snowman away. 
Hey. Not sure what that was. I think it might have been a pendant of something, but that looks pretty interesting. A little tiny snowman made out of beads. Santa. A basket. Again, missing a few gems here and there, but that doesn't bother me. It just adds to the charm. Some of these were earrings that don't have pairs, so I can just chop these back bits off and um, use I those bits. Hi, Melinda. <laughs> Doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> and then there's this big swan, again, missing a gem, so mum gave it to me. These ones all in this little bag are all mostly earrings, except that one's not an earring. So there's these two. One of these was missing a piece. So these will make good things for painting. I don't know if anybody watches, I think it's Marami Small Art. I love the way she makes her little canvas and she just plucks little bits of metal things out and then paints all over them and sprays them and they all they always turn out fantastic. So I'm trying to gather a bunch of supplies that I can make a little container to do that kind of thing with but then some of these things like I wouldn't paint over that I just stick that poking out of something because it's so sparkly she said been packing since 9am we'll go to Nebula and then there's this huge earring that would make either a great dangly or just something stuck down to a project oh that wasn't supposed to be in there this basket's in this box. and then again these I just thought would make Great things to stick onto pieces. Lots and lots and lots of hours. Mum had put some in there and then she kept finding more and just handing them to me instead of putting them into her stash. There's this big flower pendant. More little bits of chunky stuff that I can use. Some of them are brooches that I can pull the backs off and stick down. So this is a windmill that the thing turns and I think there's one tiny gem missing that you can hardly see so I thought that was really cute and then there's a dangly huge bead and a tassel <laughs> I've been watching people use their tassel dies lately now I want a tassel die she threw in a dragon for me I love dragons um Oh, this little bit of chain has skulls on it. I skulls. I think I broke one trying to get it off, so I stopped trying to get them off till I could find my tools. And I have a couple of these little skulls to go with the Halloween ones. And then another little pendant, that little thing that you could add some ribbon on. And then this was an earring that broke. I was sad because I know Mum had some other ones like this that were really pretty, and she threw them all out before I got there. So... I missed out on some stuff. <laughs> and there's a little witch. Again, these are earrings that the backs aren't on, so I can just stick them straight down onto a project. This one says Windsor, it's Windsor Castle. A piece of jade. I'm not sure what I'll do with that, but I'll find something to do with it. And then that one's just another owl. So excuse the noise while I get rid of these ones. And then in this bag, I put all the tiny little charms. And there's a lot. <laughs> there's too much to go through. There's more ribbon sliders. There's angels' hearts. Another smaller dragon. A froggy. An owl. There's little fish bones. I know there's a cat in there. There's another little fish. And then this little dang decorative dangly bit. And there's hearts and watches and a spider. Oh, I love the close-on butterflies too. I have a few of these, but I think 
they're so pretty and I think there's a couple of colors in there that I don't actually have so that's good and these bells and I almost used them for the collab today but then I thought I should show them in a haul before I <laughs> use them and oh look at this big tiger and some hearts and that's just another dragon there's a peace sign and then I don't know why mum didn't keep this one maybe because she knows I love amethyst so instead of putting that on a necklace to sell she just gave it to me so that'll be going on a necklace for me to wear and I love this shell it's so cute pardon and for those people who like elephants there's an elephant there it's a heffalump and a whistle and no you may not blow it oh no i something more annoying in my room Talk i don't know if that's a gingerbread man or a snowman i can't tell Snow. <laughs> and then there's this bag of itty bitty elephants i think it was a bracelet but there's not enough pieces to fix it maybe i'm not sure or mum just didn't want to fix it so these are all elephants. They're really cute. Tiny elephants. So it's helping me up my metal stash a bit because I didn't have a huge variety of metal things. And as I said, I really like, I think it's Marami Small Art. And there's some feathers and a big dolphin. And this packet of mittens that she hadn't even opened. So occasionally there is stuff she's bought in there. And then this is, I'll just tip it out and we can have a look. This is all things that are still on strings. Like these are all glass beads, these ones here. And yeah, if I didn't take them, they were just going and they're so pretty now the big burgundy ones on this are all damaged but there's the flower ones and these are glass and the flowers are glass and these big black ones are glass so i can pull them all off and use them for stuff and then i really like the clasp as well it's one of those ones that you pass it through And again, some big beads and little beads and all sorts of stuff and some funky chain that can be used on something. Now, we are at a loss as to what this is and what it was for. Uh -huh. This is how it was. It's just a chain with these two things hanging off it and the tassels. And I really like these. I thought I could um, detach these bits and hang them from things. And then there's these beads. Oh, I've got to be careful because they're all going to fall off if I'm not. And I thought these gold beads were pretty funky. And then there's this that's all part of one necklace that's come apart but doesn't have an easy way to fix it. So mum gave me the beads for that. And then these are... I'm not sure what kind of beads they are, but they when you turn them in the light, I'm not sure if you can see see the colours, but they're so pretty when they hit the light. They have just a lot of colours, kind of like an opal in there. Some blue tiger's eye this time. Some multicoloured dark gem, uh, dark beads. They feel heavy like glass as well. And they all just have a nice shine on them. Some of them are a bit dead, but that doesn't matter. I'll just save the ones I can. And then a whole necklace of little seed beads. And this one is missing these beads on one side, but it has the black chain. And then it has these beads, which I really like. They're really pretty and sparkly. I like things that catch the light like that. And a lot of black beads. So that's the beads. And what else is in here? This is just a bag full of bits and pieces of broken chains for me to use. And some more odds and ends of beads. And 
just round things and stuff and those big square beads in here we have a couple more broken bracelets and I have a few extra beads and that in there and then some of the beads from the other one I showed before are in there so take these apart and use these little bits on things and I have some of the little bits that have fallen out of the middle in the packet as well and then this one is a heart one so there's a couple of those blue ones in there as well and even without the heart they can look quite nice if I clean them up a little bit and then I really like this one this one's all pretty flowers so I'd use them on danglies and things they're quite nice And then there's another lot of blue cloisonne beads. Some huge beads. Oh, there's a really huge Christmas ornament earring. I could not imagine walking around with that hanging off my ear. There's two of them. Some safety pins. <laughs> Some things to make keychains. In this little envelope is some tiny little pink skulls of all things. Pink ones. Let's see if I can come here. Oh no, red ones, sorry. Oh, no, yes. <laughs> so, red bloody skulls. <laughs> but that would be good for in my Halloween stash. I'm going to have to start a Halloween stash now. Mm -hmm. Oh. And then this little bag has little pins. So this is a little St. Patrick's Day bear. I can take something and chop the back off so I can stick that down. We have a cute angel with a dangly bit. There's a little hat charm that got in there somehow. Then there's this little koala stick pin. There's these adorable kissing kids, a kangaroo. This cute little ice cream, the butterfly, and this I think is an amethyst necklace, which I'm going to repurpose that for my own jewellery and a butterfly. Oh, and I missed this big thing. Not even sure what that is. <laughs> so I'll just get all of this out of the way and then onto some more fun stuff Okay, I went to Harvey Norman with my daughter. Harvey Norman. With my older Norman. daughter. And they Harvey had washi Norman. tape. Lots and lots of washi tape. So we'll start with these ones. And some of these are obviously for giveaways. I don't need all of these rolls of washi tape. So one packet has these three. And I admit I did buy two packets of this one so I could have two of the rainbow washi because mm -hmm. I really like that. And then there is this packet of washi, which has the, um, <laughs> yeah, that word, the sharpeners, pencils, pencils and, and more, pencils? more solid pencils. And they were $1.59 a packet. And then we have washi palooza. Half of them are the same, a lot of these are the same because I bought a lot for giveaways. Oh, okay. Hang on. We might stand them up and I'll show them to you. Now, this is all I can fit in my hands. They don't have baskets at Harvey Norman here. So this is just what I could carry. <laughs> And we have gingerbread men. So I've got a couple of them. I got one of them for myself because I love the gingerbread men. They're so cute. 
So that's all the gingerbread men. Then we have these Merry Christmases, and I'm pretty sure I already have one of these in my stash. And then I love these. I'll just, yeah, there's three of these. These are Santa, so they're pretty cool. I thought that was cute. Um, just trying to see what I have that might be the same. Oh, I somehow ended up three of this with three of this one as well. I know one of these is for me anyway. So they're just um, lanterns, so that's pretty cool. And then those are the same. Oh, some of the ones I thought I had two of, I don't. And then we have Santa, Rudolph, and a snowman. This one is mason jars. I think this one's hard to see. So do you want to open that up sure. so we can have a look at it? I'll stick it on the paper. And this one is has kind of like a peachy pink background and it has the gingerbread man, birds. It says Little Christmas. Oh, has Have yourself a merry little Christmas. So it starts there and finishes there, the Christmas tree. I'm for sale now. And then it says Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. So that's $20 cute. Then we have a white version of the mason jars. That's probably why I thought I'd gotten two. So we'll just see if we can find the end and I'll grab my notebook and stick a piece down. And $2.95. If I can get it to peel up. Do you think anybody will pay that? Oh, no. Well, I'm not having much luck with this one. Goody. I hope the other ones are a bit better. Goody. Goody. Okay, while she opens that one, I this have one Snowman, oh, oh. and it says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And it's there's Upside Down Snowman and Up the Right Way Snowman, and it just continues around like that. And then there's two snowmen there. One looks like he's dancing. And this one says, Merry Christmas. And then you've got a bus that says, Ho, 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 with presents on top. Yeah. So that's pretty cute. No, you're not having any joy? No. Okay. Because there's tape on the sides too. I'll get these out of the way. And they were all... 50 cents. Uh, 50 cents? Yeah, 50 cents. So that was pretty cheap. And then from the reject shop, I got the sparkly letters. I may have bought these before, but I don't remember. <laughs> but I actually needed these when I was helping a little friend on Monday, and um, I didn't ha didn't think I had them. So Sarah said, where are these from? Which these? The washi tapes or the letters? The washi tapes are from Harvey Norman. Hardly Norman. Hardly normal, you mean. Yeah, that. And the glitter stickers are from the reject shop. Ooh, 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 I'm actually and then gonna... I looked at these the other week in the reject shop and they were $9, so I was good and walked away. Surprisingly. And then when I walked in there the other day, they were $4.50, so I thought I would grab them. And we will do a little swatch test of them a bit later. So I'll keep second. them aside. Okay, should we give them a hint? There might be a second one. Might be a second one. And then <laughs> this whole tub <laughs> is I went with my mum to Vincenia and they have a little shopping centre. It's, it's not huge, but it's quite spacious the way they've set it out it's really nice i really like it Better than yarrow. and they have a giant junk shop in there but it's not wall-to-wall -wall junk shop but my mum can't walk around for a long time so i tried not to 
book too much and then I ended up buying more than I wanted to buy because I didn't have time to sort it out and put it back because she was I'm on the leave. She was handing it to the lady as I was trying to decide what I was getting so I ended up getting everything. <laughs> so I got the glue sticks they were only 50 cents and I got these big green gems because they're missing from my collection and they're cheaper than where I usually buy them by about 50 cents and they oh, haven't yeah. had these in for ages. Okay, stick a piece on there. Okay. Don't mind the broken part. And then, where did I put my book? This is the paper I made my book with. Now they're... There you go. One that I usually buy that I hauled last time is the oh. 300 GSM that I used to do a lot of practice painting with. Sarah said I got them too. Um, hey, you can actually see that on here. <laughs> no, that. Yeah, so this was $4.55, which is cheaper than my where I usually buy it from, but the 300 GSM was way cheaper than what they had it priced. So... I don't know. It's much of a muchness. It's hard to know who's going to have what cheaper wear. But this is the 180 GSM, which is what I used to make this book with. So I wanted some more of that in case I decided to make some more books. And while it was that cheap, I was grabbing it. And the smaller half size of this pad was only like 10 cents cheaper. So I thought I would grab the big one because that was... I can just cut them in half if I wanted to make this book, but I actually Sarah wouldn't mind making a bigger one. Got them to in brown, and I, after she said the pearls. I have a lot of these colours of pearls. I love them because you can get three sizes. So I just chop these into three, and then I have the medium size packet with the three on it, and then I've yeah. slipped the small one in it, and then I have all the same colours in the one packet, easy to go whenever I need them. Oh, this is a little AliExpress one. I... <sighs> Can you grab my planner out of the backpack, please? Sure. So I was planning on getting a bigger, back, uh, bigger planner at some point, so I thought I would grab the bigger ruler, and... My assistant's going to get my planner because I have a smaller one in my planner that I can show you. And then, oh, no, I think I got dud pack, a dud pack of the lilac. I got these metallic foil card, which I haven't seen the coloured ones before. It's in, oh, in there somewhere. It should be poking out the bottom. So that one's a bit of a dud. I'll have to, oh, they're all duds. No. So that, that one's a bit of a dud. Oh, well. But uh -oh. the purple on this side is beautiful. I don't know what happened to the one on that side, but these were $3 um, a pack Sarah, for three Sarah sheets, likes... for six sheets. Unfortunately, that was the only lilac pack that they had, so I'll just have to work around it. Said, said oh no, I wanted you to give me the whole planner. Oh, too late. <laughs> <laughs> so in my, like this one won't fit in this planner because it's made for a bigger planner, but I like this because it just snaps in and I can put it on the week where I'm at and just flip straight there. Previously I was using one of these little tab things to work out where I was at. So that's why I got the big and the small, and I think it was $2, I think, for both of them. So, And it has the centimetres and the inches, and because a lot of our craft stuff is in inches, I thought that that was good because then if I, it doesn't matter what I need to measure in, I can do both. And then <sighs> from this... <laughs> shop this is where I got into trouble I was trying to cull some of these but my mum just kept throwing them all Can I go get my book? I'll be really fast. Yes. my mum go. just kept throwing them all onto the counter and the lady had started scanning them and then I felt like I couldn't really say no well I don't want these ones now and stuff they're not all for me some of them are for my sister and then with what 
like so we get 10 each and then some of them are to share out so they're all unicorns that one so those two match i like that one and those two match i like the green on the bottom and then we have that green one Yeah, me and unicorns, but I sent pictures to my sister and she was like, oh, yes, please. So I wasn't planning on buying so many, many and then mum just threw them all on the counter. So, <laughs> And then I got these lovely peacock ones. We don't really have a lot of nice napkins around here and I was in the shop where I got all the bags and I got the other unicorn ones, but they were the only nice napkins they really had. So to find somewhere that ha actually had napkins that were all – all right and decently priced wasn't too bad but this was the only other picture one that they really had and this one of course but the foil ones were more expensive they were four dollars for 20 napkins but the mermaid she's really pretty on the ombre ombre rainbow type color background <laughs> so i thought she was really pretty with the gold foil and now my assistant's run away and I'm finished with that tub. And I can't reach the other one, so I have to wait till she comes back. What are you doing? Yeah, she's very pretty. Can you swap that tub and pass me the big tub, please? The last tub, but it's the biggest one. Oh, hang on. I can, you can pass, pull that tub over and I will do this one. So there's a clearance shop in town. Wait, am I taking these out? Cause are we, are we... We're not doing that on the live. Oh, yeah, that's what I said. Let me take these out. Let me take them out. Oh, I can show you them. Oh, oh it's up to you. Okay, oh, take them out then. Are oh. we doing a separate live? For that? I don't know. Can we? So this shop had... Pick 10 lots of lace. Oh, oh the bottom ones. For $1. So all of this cost me $2. Holy. So there's this lace with the brown. Don't mind the other noise. It's just me moving all the And then we've got the green trim one. Oh. We've got some chocolate one because I don't really chocolate. see this colour a lot. So I thought... I would grab two lots of that, one that I can share out to people and probably, I don't know how much is in a bag, so we'll see how much it is. I probably don't need all of it, so I'll share out as much as I can. And then these two green ones, this one's almost five metres and this one's almost five metres, so I'll definitely be sharing some of that out. Uh, Sarah and then said this brown one. Mint. Blue and brown is nice colour. And then we've got the bright green. We've got two of the light green. So I'll, I'll be sharing a lot of this. Four metres, four metres. This one's three metres. This one's 2.3 metres. And then we've got this big red one. I'm not sure how much. Is that. Four metres of the big red one. Four metres of that one. I'll show you the back so you can see it. Four metres of that one. That's not supposed to be on there. Then we've got this one. 2.9 metres. We've got those. And then we've got the beige, uh, beige, lighter brown colour. So those ones will get shared out. I'll throw them in that bag. But it was just nice to see some different colours and things and they were only... $2 for 20 pieces and then I got these really pretty things they were half price but they were still I think they were still $2 for these little sprays so I only bought one packet they're really pretty I really wanted to get more but I was behaving myself and then these were sold by the meter so I got a lot of these I don't really have a lot of this color or this color so this is the crochet type lace which is really pretty I and i think i got all she had left of that Can I get blanket? and i think i got five meters of that and it was only a, 
everything cost me ten dollars including these two washies which are two dollars each so these were two dollars these were two dollars all those ribbons were two dollars so that must have cost me four dollars or something i think it was less than two dollars but i and ten dollars but i can't remember it was a few weeks ago so we have the france washi Okay, I'm going to have to open this one. It has a quote on it, so I need to know what the quote is now. Well, you're too late now. Can I open the other one? Yes, you can open the London one. Now, I got these because I want to do some projects to scrap the photos from when Ooh. Mr. Mod and I went to... Paris. Paris? Ah, oh, I keep ripping the washi. Oh, my goodness. Let me open it because I can open it and it doesn't rip. Hush you. Stop being a smarty pants. Not being a smarty pants. Oh, <laughs> Don't usually have this much wash trouble with washi. Mm -hmm. Until I come down enough to say. Okay. It. However mean your life is, meet it and live it. Do not shun it and call it hard names. It okay. is not so bad as you are. I don't know what that means, but anyway. What? I'll stay there forever. Oh, there's quotes on this one. We'll get open now. So that's the Paris one. And then the helper is opening up the other one. Oh, no. <laughs> and she ripped it. <laughs> only the edge. Only the black. And see, look, it's just that tiny little okay, bit compared okay, to yours. Okay, okay, Not so loud. While she's opening time. that, I'm just going to have a drink, drink because my voice is starting to go. Oh, there's different quotes on it. <laughs> Waiting for someone. Well, put it down. I want to go. Oh, but. <laughs> Flip back the other way. Because, oh. Oh, you need to show everybody your pencil case I got you too. Uh, Put it down. No, go, but the... Uh, oh. What does it say? You make my heart smile. There's almost a feeling frenzy setting out to prove that London is the most... Huh? Is the most pulsating, vibrant Vibe. city city on the? Is that gonna say point? I think it's supposed to say planet, but it's a typo. <laughs> Even some. Uh, let me confuse that off. And so I don't know what's up with this washi because it's half finished sentences and stuff, but nobody's um, going to read the washi, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to read my one. I'm going to do my pencil case. My pencil case. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. Have a good time. So that was pretty cool washi. And again, I've got some photos of London and... Manchester and Liverpool to scrap at some point so I really wanted that and also I knew what was coming in the hedgehog hollow box so I thought that would match up nicely I said I knew what was coming in the hedgehog hollow box now these books were on clearance for two dollars I ended up grabbing that one I like it's for drawing and the paper is so nice can I show them the start of my turtle? Yeah, you can show them the start of your turtle. So I ended up grabbing this one as well, which isn't as thick as these ones. So, But they were marked down on clearance for $2, and when I went back, that was the only undamaged one that they had left, so I grabbed it too. But the paper in this is really nice, and I've got two of these and one of them, and Tiana... Oh, I'm sorry, I did it. Miss Assistant is going to show you hers. Thing. Oh, here you go. You can show them. Just don't flick through the other ones. She started to draw a turtle. Pass me the book. Where's Do you know where it is? No, I've got to find it now. Isn't that what you flagged? No, that was a dragonfly. Oh, oh. I just went past a turtle. 
So a book I hauled, I don't even know if I should have edited the video to show it, but a book that I bought from I the reject shop, I got really I cheap. I liked it. And we've both been practicing some drawing. And while she's doing that, I'm going to show you these. Ah, oh, this one's broken. I Done. don't know how to fix it. Oh, I and think... this one's missing its tassel. Oh, I didn't pick really good ones. But this one still has its tassel on. The little things in life pencil cases. I just thought I would grab some pencil cases that I could oh, hopefully collect some pens for is future the, giveaways. Yeah, this is the turtle. Okay, we'll show the turtle. I found the turtle. It's on two pages, though. Show the turtle. Oh, look, there is a diamond rattlesnake on this one. First page. Desert tortoise. Oh, that's what I'm drawing. Second page. So that is what she is starting to draw. She's got the outline shape going and... And it gives nice step-by-step -step instructions to get a drawing down in a pretty easy to follow manner. And then after I'm going to draw a dragonfly. Okay. And I got those for $3. It said they were $6 marked to $3, so I scooped on those. I'm going to show my pencil case. Oh, yeah. Which has to, everything in it. She wants to show you her new pencil case. They have these new in Kmart now. It says keep it together. Yeah, it's a really together. nice pencil case with the <laughs> beautiful black and white flowers. And then I went in there and I've ha I have the other three ta uh, four tape pack that they have of the metallics. And last week when I was in there, they still had about a hundred packs. I went in oh, there today the and they were all gone. There was rose there? and no the other day when we went in there. When we no, it was on Friday. It was. When Thursday. we went in there on Thursday, they were all gone. All the planners, like mine, they still had about 30 or 40 of them the other day. Yeah. And when we went in there on Thursday, they were gone. I mean, I was in there last week and then on Thursday oh. and they were gone. So they've moved all the stuff to a spot where people can see them and clearance them all out. Yeah. But I grabbed two of these so I didn't miss out because they're really pretty colours and probably when I go back, I'll grab some more for giveaways. Then I grabbed this pack of stuff for the cats mostly. There's cat pens, cat pads, there's itty bitty pens, and then there's these erasers. And it was clearancing out for $3 for all of this stuff, and there's 24 pieces. Six mechanical pencils, six erasers, six pens, six mini notebooks. So I thought the cats were cute and if I have some cat followers, that would make a good thing for a giveaway. As well as this little cat notepad, he was a dollar. <laughs> Cat's been leaving hair everywhere. So that little notepad was a dollar. Um... More napkins. So these are in Kmart, these beautiful unicorn ones. They were uh, $2 or $3. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think they were $3 maybe with the holographic. Yes, somewhere, but I don't know where. And then these beautiful ones were clearancing out for a dollar, and I have – some of these to use for a giveaway for giveaways or to send in happy mail the planets are really cool and i've got some paper stacks that will match that now watch out for a spot huge spotlight hole coming up soon Aww. okay let's grab all the unicorn stuff <laughs> can we do another video another one just for the videos also, oh, unicorn! No, not unicorn, rainbow! I know that there is a lot of people who like unicorns and stuff, so I'm gathering things for well, giveaways for or a swap oh. or something like that. And these are unicorn luggage tags. I didn't actually mean to buy two. These are from Coles again in their wall of awesome stuff. So I grabbed, I meant to grab one of them, but I ended up with two, so Dogs never mind. from Coles. 
and it, they are from Coles, and it worked out well because it meant I actually got the mini, mini, unicorn. mini shop things, okay. whatever they're called. A rainbow. And then I have I these straws that I can break up and send in Happy Mail with mermaids and Ooh. a unicorn and a rainbow. I just thought if somebody ever wanted to do a super fun swap with me, then I would have some stuff because I see lots of people doing those swaps. And then these are rainbow erasers that I could pack up, package up into little packets. And then these are giant erasers and I'd probably not send them all together. They were $2. I would probably break these up for Happy Mail and send one at a time. I was say, don't actually break them up. Can uh, I yeah, they were two dollars for the three, and they you can see they're quite big. Can, can I see how many you get in here? See if it's actually thirty-five. <laughs> sure, if you have to know. And then I think finally oh, on the unicorn. Oh, hang on. There's these little erasers. There's one little unicorn, a flamingo, pineapple, a dog, an ice cream. And I think these were like a dollar and. They're strawberry scented, oh, <laughs> and they smell now. they do smell. <laughs> and Ew. then these gorgeous notebooks, hmm. I think, were two dollars. <laughs> I think they're from Kmart. They've ju they're just um, switching out all their old stock and bringing in all their new stock. So lots oh, of yeah. new stuff coming into their stationery and their kids stationery department. And they are actually getting rid of all their branded stuff and are just going to have Kmart brand stuff. And I got these Bulldog clips because I need them for my paint books. I was tempted to buy two just so I could have four purple ones to hold the pages down. I know people use them in crafting, but I haven't really seen how yet. So mostly I just wanted them for my paint journals so I could keep the pages held down while I paint a picture and they don't buckle so much and things because the paper is really thin. These stickers were a dollar and I thought I could use them in my planner, especially these itty ones. Some of these will go with one of the layouts that I'm planning to do in a couple of weeks to transition into the more warmer weather. There is 35. I was just making sure. Here is an unbroken pencil oh, case. <laughs> and this one's a clear one. It. Yeah. I no, can put, fill nice. it up with stuff. Again, I got that one to send as happy mail. Yeah. Then if you saw my video earlier, can you pass me a paper clip? Paper clip? What paper clip? Up there. On the plate. Oh, yeah. I see if that. you saw my Amp It Up August video earlier... You would have seen some of these. Pass me a rosette one and a bow one, please. Okay. <laughs> Gonna have fun cleaning all this up. Yeah. So yeah, pass me. Yeah. So I made these giant paper clips for the Amp It Up August collab, and then they had these gorgeous rose gold coloured ones in there. So I, Can I get them out? grabbed some of them. And then, if you remember, I hauled the file folders that are gold, silver, black, and rose gold. And you get two of the gold ones in a packet. And then they have these new ones in. And these were $3, so you get this one. And I've actually seen some cool... And these ones are coloured on the inside. And I've actually seen some really Go cool mini album flip book type things made with these so I thought I would grab them to try it out because they're double sided whereas the other ones aren't. You know what's funny? Go for it. Just do it. <laughs> and I love this one. This no, stripy pink one, one and the one. mint. That's a gorgeous colour scheme together. That will make a really good flip book or and mini then, album. Or, oh, I, don't like I can't remember. That. And then this one is mermaid holographic mermaid scales yeah, you, you which was tell. what caught my eye to start with as well but these two i just love them and there's something missing oh dear 
Um, no, it's on the side. The other side. No, the other one of these. The Montmartre one. It's, can you go through the tub, please, and see if you can see it? Probably. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> I can see it. I didn't pull it out of the tub. You didn't even okay. do that tub, did you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> so I missed something earlier. We'll get these out of the way. Okay, then I got this Marvel Comics. Oh, Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. Yep, you can Marvel. open this one. Yes! And... Oh, don't put that up yet. This is the Marvel Comics one, and it has stickers and a stencil in it, and she's going to open it so we can have a quick look. Yeah, the stencil. And while she does that, these paints that look like the Koinor paints are two dollars from Kmart but they do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't like them ones. Here's glue. I'm going to stick can, them back can, in with some gum Arabic. Can can I can I open up the other ones? Yeah. So I've already opened Oh but you're supposed to be opening that. Already did. And then I also got oh, the pink one does it from that shop down at Vincenio when I was with my mum. Can mom. I do that one? Ooh, I might like <laughs> Which seems to have gotten stuck. I got this set of 18 colours of the Montmartre ones. And I want and they were six dollars and I think they're about ten dollars in our shop that sells the Montmartre stuff. So I thought I'd grab them while they were cheap. But this one has more than this one. It was two dollars, so we'll see the quality. But I can already tell just by looking at them that they look more chalky. Look. No, I don't see. Is anything coming off? No. Whereas this one. Yeah, it's because it came out is crap. No it's offense. Doing that. So they're going to be really chalky, but I just thought it would be a fun video. Hi, Joy. I just thought it would be a fun Whoa. video to compare. The $2 Kmart with the $6 Montmart, and I want to get the. Ooh. Do I get to open the book? Um, the 24 set from Officeworks, but my Officeworks doesn't carry it, so I actually need to order it in so I could pick it up, which is probably a good thing because I need to get some more of the A4 250 GSM paper that I've been using as well. Am I slicing this open very carefully? Um, does it not pull up? No. Oh, yes, but I don't want to wreck the background. So I thought I would do a comparison test of those three, and we already know that they you. probably won't perform very well, but it will be interesting. They look like they're better quality, so it's going to be interesting, even though these are cheaper, to compare these to the Koinor ones. I'm slicing this. I'm going to be a surgeon. Is there any questions? Anything anybody wants to know while well, she is slicing open the box and hopefully not wrecking anything? No, I'm slicing open this part. Oh, Joy said, love doing comparisons, sometimes surprising results. Yes, when she puts, when mum puts the. Um, oh, yeah, the those light. paints last week looked really good. So that's that was surprising for their price. They actually look quite nice, so I'm excited to give them a go when I have some more time. After I finish filming this live, I actually have to um, make another card, make a card for tomorrow. So, <laughs> oh dear, no rest for the wicked and clean up the big mess we've made with all the stuff. <laughs> oh, we're getting somewhere. She's getting in the box. Yes, I've got cool Texas. Those are the Texas. Well, yeah. Not very interested in the Texas. They are cute because they say Marvel, but yeah. <laughs> what is that meant to be? But okay, then. What does it say it is? I don't know. Oh, yeah, we've got to swatch out other things too. Look. So let's have a look and see what. Oh, okay. That is oh. some sort of pen, but I'm not going to take the top off it. That's to stop it drying out. We need to find out what it is before I do that. Yeah, Mum. These are just some washi tapes from before. Uh, okay, I give up on that. The Marvel packs from Kmart. It's ten dollars. They didn't have a lot in my Kmart, otherwise I probably would have waited till they were marked down. 
but I thought I would grab it because <laughs> it has six sticker sheets in it. And then the comic, I thought I could repurpose the front of the comic. Okay. And I don't know. We haven't had a look at the comic yet, but they, it's really well in the packaging so no kids can get their sticky little what? fingers in there and I just steal wrecked. anything. It's all right wrecking the package. It was glued down really well. Okay. Here's the stencil. Don't have a look at the stickers. I'm looking at the stickers. So this is the stencil, which is really cool. And I can cut that off there, the Thor off there, and use that. And then there's some stickers that kind of match what's in here. Dr. Strange. Well, they do match what's in here, actually, perfectly. <laughs> Show it. Spiderman. Spider what do you think, Mr. Mod? Mr. Mod. There's two of them. And then some words. Oh, it's all man. to make your own comic, but I thought I could repurpose them. I'm Hulk. Let's have a look in the book. So the book just has... Yeah. It's make your own comic strip, basically. Yeah, the book just has all the little bits to make a comic, uh, but I'm just going to repurpose the covers. Oh, it's got a different cover depending so... on which way. So you got Captain America this way. And then this way you've got Iron Man. Sarah says you can use the bubbles for your planner. Yep. So I just thought that was a really fun little set. And for one, two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, seven, nine, eight, nine, and the stencil. Ten. So basically, if you if you were just looking at those things, it was a dollar a sheet. So that's not too bad. Um, she said, love, cat, bunny, have my Marvel shirt on now. Yeah, I am. What? I'm a bit behind on the movies, but yes, we love Marvel here too. Now, where did I put the pens? That's odd. You can see my arm in a second. It has a delay, I know that for sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's. Open this oh, up, gosh. and then these are the pens, the Faber Castle pens I got at 20. the reject shop. They were marked down to four dollars fifty. I had walked in, and they were nine dollars last week, and I was like, no. And Pull then I went the color. and looked in. Start at that one. I Pull went in. and looked in the clearance section this week, and they were in there. So I thought I would grab them. And when and looking at this, Am I, I was doing confused. One? Just can, I go, can I still one? write a word? Write hello or something. E -L -L -O. I was confused by the tips on here, but they're actually. I uh, I'll see if I uh, don't know if this is the best color to show you, but Wait, I, I'll tell you in a second. I can tell you. It's kind of like a clear felt tip pen type. Oh, you, you can see it just a little bit because I can see it on my phone. Let's see if it shows we up better on the white. Kmart. We don't have Kmart, but something has similar stuff. I'm in England. That's a mod. Spot. Oh, I like. <laughs> I mod. Uh, sent Mr. Mod some alcohol markers for me to try when I come back to England. Um, <laughs> yeah. And Mr. Mod nicely went to Poundland for me and got me some of the Christopher Robin stuff. So I'm so excited to get my hands on some of that. They didn't have everything. They didn't have the wide washi tape, uh, duct tape, washi tape stuff, and they didn't have the 3D stickers, but I think they had just about everything else. Funnily enough, I didn't really get to any art or craft stores when I was in England last time. It was more, oh my goodness, look at this, look at this. And I I'm um, trying to write neat. took lots of photos of old buildings and, yeah, I spent hours taking photos of old buildings. Mod can even tell you. Yep, at Poundland. Poundland, where's that? They, his Poundland didn't get the last lot of pretty stuff they had, but they Should got I the Christopher Robin. I have on my wrist. 
Well, the wristband. You can explain where you went today if you want to. I was in Tails yesterday. Yesterday? You can explain from where you went yesterday. Se- from seven, no. Keep from writing. Something to nine. Four till nine. How long did you just go for? Two hours. Where did you go? Flip out. What's flip out? Flip out is a trampoline place, which is very tiring sometimes, but it's very fun because I was learning new things. I was playing in the foam pit. I was in there for most of the time. But um, I was learning to ball walk. So what that is, you bounce on your back and then you're trying to walk up the wall, but you bounce back down and keep going higher. Do all these fun tricks. But yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Joy said boing. Boing, boing, boing. I wasn't there. I was babysitting uh-huh. somebody else's kids. <laughs> well, I was sleeping over at my friend's house, so that was fun. They had a take one person, bring a friend free. Free. And it had... Lights, well, it didn't have the smoke machine, but it was fun. Yeah, it had lights. Do these have names on them at all? Let's see. Nope. Lights, um. What else do they have? What's so, that? No names, just colours. But I've been looking at all the Stedler fine liners and this the one, Tripless. Uh, oh, oh, that's yeah. the Tripless R Stedler. Um, and there's another one, and I can't remember what it's called. The big packs of them, and I was contemplating getting one, but for now I've got these. Whoops. It will look like an E. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yes, it does. Because then it will prove that I can't spell. <laughs> I honestly can't. I can't even spell globalization. Well, the lid came off that one, so I hope it works. Because that's purple. I am just going to... It works. Do a swatch test on this paper because in my planner it is super hey. cheap paper. Well, uh-huh. that's the best one to see if it's going to bleed through. No, nope. actually, they work really nicely in there, so I'm happy about that, which is one of the main reasons I got them. The Kmart pens that they sell oh, wow. for these that go with the planners actually go through. Huh? What do you say after that? Not that. Come on, I don't know. What does B O G O F mean? Huh? Yeah, that confused me. Oh my back. There's a nice range of colours in this pack too, so that's good. Ooh, I like this blue. It is pretty. I'm curious to see the next one. Because it looks quite nice as well. Buy one, get one. Oh, buy one, get one free. That's what Mr. N. Yep. I reckon this is going to How long did you go to flip out for? So, um. Did you go for an hour or two hours? Two hours. (laughs) Oh, you would have been exhausted. Yes and no, but half of it I was actually in the phone pit. Pushing all the foam to where everyone would jump, so that was more fun. <laughs> it, was, it was honestly fun. No, no, no. The first time we went, and we went for two hours, she was exhausted. <laughs> they had to keep having breaks because they were wrecked. That's green. That's sea green, I reckon. And I'll go start on the next one. Three. I actually prefer these to the proper felt tip nibs because they're hardier. They seem to last a bit longer. It looks I'm, like... only, I'm only doing it very light. Oh, if oh. any of you have used the Pro Markers and you get those extra fine tips for them, it's the same kind of tip is that is on the extra fine Pro Marker tips. I love those tips for doing hair, even more than using Copics for hair. You can get some super fine detail with them. I like that green. They need to swap places. Can I put them in colour order? (laughs) This hurts my head. Um. 
I need to get back into calligraphy. Yeah, one of our cheapy shops here has a lot of Montmartre stuff, and she bought a Montmartre calligraphy set as well as a Kmart calligraphy set. I didn't buy the calligraphy set. Okay, Mr. Mod bought the calligraphy set. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, enjoy that. That sounds like fun. Have a good day, Joy. Bye bye. I'm Tazzy. Can you do a separate video for those? All right. I want to do it though. My daughter would like to do a live, but it's opening toys. So we're going to do a separate live for that because it's a bit different than the arty, crafty stuff. So she wants to do it straight after this one. If anybody is interested in seeing, there is some Marvel and some Disney ones. And I'm pretty sure, hopefully, we have a full set of the Disney ones. That's the... So this is the colour selection from the Faber Castle pen... Uh, Oh Markers, God. fine pens, they're 0. 0.4 millimetres. So that's a really nice colour selection and will come in handy. Oh and they don't bleed through my oh. super thin planner pages. Oh Although I am waiting for some from Ali that are supposed to be a bit thicker, so that'll be interesting. Oh, it's not raining. It's not and I may have done an order with Kaiser Craft online while they had 50% off everything today. Not that they have their whole range of everything online, but they do have a lot of stuff. They don't have any six inches. I was going to say, can I put them in colour order the way that I think they should be in colour order? I thought you wanted to do that. Oh, yeah. So we are going to say goodbye for this stream, and we're going to be right back with a toy opening stream. I just need to have a look at the packets and see what they're called. Okay. And can, can I say something? Make sure you like and subscribe. Oh, and I stuffed that up. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you like this live video and subscribe, and make sure you hit that um that great bell to see more videos like this and other wonderful stuff. <laughs> and see you all next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I stuffed that up. Oh, where's the off button?